What's up guys, Will here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up uh, Flames of Destruction Special Edition box. Uh, I just got back from the local and they actually had quite a few of these. I only picked up one because the uh, the promos inside are kind of, eh, they're nothing great. You can probably see them there. I got, is it Moonling Glacia and Grand Soil? I have horrible pronunciation. And then two new cards for the next set, which would be World Legacy's Memories and Universal Adapter. We're gonna get a better look at them when we open this up. Uh, I know you guys have been probably missing Jade for a little bit, but she's gonna go ahead and open the second half of this box. I'm gonna open the first five, she's gonna open the next five. Uh, so yeah, Flames of Destruction. I bumped you guys, I apologize. Um, Flames of Destruction. Uh, what are we looking at for out of here? Um, I am personally looking for some of the more rare Element Saber cards. I know I need the Wind one, is it uh, Makini? I, I, it starts with an M, that's all I know. Um, I'm looking for that. I need one more elemental training. I believe one or two more of the palace. And then I can go ahead and make my uh, my uh, element saber deck, which is something that I know that's super viable, but definitely going to be fun to play. So, yeah. Uh, what else are we looking for in here? We're looking for the infinite and permanent secret rare. Um, I would like another vampire sucker because I still need one to finish my vampire deck. Um, really, any secret besides buddy force. I could really use a unicorn because it's the only... Um, only Nightmare I haven't pulled yet. So, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. It is sealed. There's no, no shenanigans here. We're all, we're all legit. We're all ready to go. Let's get that away. Okay. So, each side has five. Jade and I did not decide which one we wanted to open, but I am gonna decide for her. Oh my, this is a very sticky box. There we are. Just like the display box. I'm gonna go ahead and take five out and put the rest of the side. Um, which side should we go? Um, we'll pick the left. Oh, these are in here good. Okay. We're going to put those to the side because these are going to be jades. Um, so we are going to go ahead and open our, our five. So for those who don't know, these are what special editions look like. Uh, they come with two promo cards in the back, and they come with three packs inside. Um, unlike a normal booster box, you aren't guaranteed anything. Um, I've opened multiple uh, like boxes of special editions that have had no secret rares or one secret rare. I've opened one that's had three. Um, and I've seen a handful of people online that have recently opened theirs and they've gotten four, which is absurd. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and open our five. And for those who don't know, there's a really easy way to open these. And you just rip the bottom out and then pull this out. Um, instead of wasting all of your time to uh, to open up the, the sealed, sealed part on top. Okay, so on the back, we're gonna go ahead and see our first promo, which is World Legacy's Memory. And it's a special summon one Mech Knight monster in your hand or deck. In defense, return it to the hand during the end phase. For this is turn, you cannot special summon monsters except Mech Knight monsters. And you only use one of these per turn. Uh, it's not... Actually, I'm not sure. I haven't seen any pure Mech Knight builds. So maybe in the Mech Knight invoked build, um, that's a pretty good card. Or it might be. And then this is Moonling Glacia, which is one of the elemental lords. It's the water one. Or ice one, I guess. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. Um, but this one, I believe, uh, it gets rid of their... Uh, your opponent's hand when it's summoned. Uh, there is Grand Soul, which is in this. There's Phosphorage, which is also in Flood. And then there is Windrose, which is actually on the other side of the room from me. And I should have brought it over this video, but I did not. Um, but this is still a great card. And I believe the Secret Rare version was getting pretty darn pricey. So it's nice to have a reprint of that. Okay, so we're going to get into our first three packs here. Let's put these off to the side so you can still see them. Okay. So first pack, again, looking for Secret Rares or any... Element Saber ones. We're mainly going to focus on the the rare and the super uh, and the the foil, but we'll see. So we have Vendred Nightmare, Nightshade, Monster Reborn, Reborn. Ooh, we got a ultra rare already. This is Iron Dragon, uh, Timidon. Uh, I actually haven't pulled one of these yet, and it's this is pretty cool. See, this is one that gets rid of the whole whole row, I believe. That's a really good pull. I'm I'm pretty impressed. That's the first pack. I hope this uh, the rest has more. Sekka's Light, which is a really good rare. Um, I haven't seen any decks run it, but it's uh, it's pretty good. It lets you draw two cards, but the only really card you can run in your deck is that one. Uh, Insector, Daybreak, Staring Contest, Solar. All right, second pack. Trinity, Shadal, Ultrageist, Phosphorage. Again, this is the other Elemental Lord. This one is the uh, Regeki, I believe. Destroys everything. Um, so we're going to put our supers up there. Uh, we have Dermadol. Boy, Cotton, I don't understand why this card would be played at all. Like, it just seems like it's just, you, you lose life points and he leaves the field. It doesn't, I don't know why you'd play him at all. We have uh, Pixiel, the Cardigan, Bloom. I'm not sure if people actually run these in their Trickster decks. 
Um, I, I've seen a few deck profiles of people running uh, like a more link focused trickster. These do not want to stay still. Um, but they are uh, they seem to be better with either pure, just straight burn, or going for the uh, the Sky Striker variant. Octo Stretchers is actually a really great card. Space Insulator, I think it's better than Arceus. Defrag. Zen Maintenance, not a great pull, but you know, I think we have a place of those. Struggle, this is actually, it, it's okay. It's nothing great, but it's a, it's a card. <laughs> uh, Boycotton, Pixel, and another Cardigan, and I think that's everything. All right, that was the first one. Pretty good getting the Timidon, I believe that's what it's called. I have, you know, it's nice to see a card I haven't pulled yet. Uh, let's go with the next one. This is actually the other uh, set of promos. This is Universal Adapter, which you target one face of monster opponent controls. The attack of all other monsters currently in the field becomes equal to that monster's current attack until the end of the turn. I don't think it's going to be any great, but the picture has a. Uh, these are battery men on it. I don't think it's going to be played a crazy amount, but maybe as a as a weird tech that people aren't, aren't expecting. Um, let's put this down here. And this other one is Grand Soil, which is, again, another Elemental Lord. Um, and I believe this one lets you Reborn. It's like a Monster Reborn one summoned. Um, I'm not sure people are going to run this, but you know I definitely will. I'm going to run all at least one of all the Elemental Lords and probably a, uh, a Dark Arm Dragon, I believe that's what they're called. Um, and maybe a Black Luster. But that's a lot of big monsters that are not difficult to summon, but semi-difficult. But it's, yep, pretty good card. Actually, let's move these up a little. So they're all on the mat. Okie dokie. Next three. Once we've seen all the promos now, so we're probably going to gonna pretty skip right to those packs. Um, what people really want to see. Crystal Keeper. Prop Thorn. I think this is actually very underrated in the Cyber Stack. But uh, Elemental Training. I think I need this one. That's This is pretty good luck for uh, our Ultra Rares so far. Executioner. Pixiol. Anina. Bloom. Link Streamer. I don't think this is very good in the Cyber Stack at all. Alright, so we've seen all the promos now, we've talked about them, so we're just going to skip right past them, just going to put them where they belong. And do you always get two of the same one? I know, maybe it's just how the boxes work, you always get the two of the same promos. I, wow, I'm stupid. I, <laughs> I didn't even open these, so I have five to open before I open the next one. Actually, I, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to open all these, because we've seen the promos, and it's not super interesting, um, since we've already talked about them. So we're just going to actually go get all the packs at once. Because why not? Let's do this a little different. we got more Moonland Glacias on this side, which I think it's more expensive. I think all the uh, the Elemental Lord ones are sitting at about... Um, oh my, I bumped the heck out of you guys. I think they're sitting at about 3 bucks right now. But I don't know if they're going to stay like that. I don't really know what deck runs them besides Elemental Lords. Oh, sorry, Element Sabers. Alrighty. We got Trinity, Mech Knight, FA, Octa Stretch, La Puria Mana. Uh, actually, one of the best monsters in the Element Saber deck. Uh, if you have two of these on the field, you can actually lock out your opponent from killing him if you uh, have all three of his effects going. Um, so I'm actually not sure what you would do at that point um, once you get locked out. And then Don, uh, Don Dragster, one of the harder rares to pull in this set. Um, the FA, I'm not sure if they're short printed rares, but I know uh, when you bought an actual box of flames, you uh, didn't get a whole lot. Um, which isn't like Konami. Well, it is like Konami. Um, Alright, next one. We got Avram, Construct, Restoration. Oh, we got a multi faker. We are getting really lucky on these ultra rares so far. Multi faker thing about. 10 bucks. I think that's a playset for me, too. I don't have any plans on playing any Ultra Geist, but they're they're pretty good. Are they considered Rogue at this point? We got a Definium as well. Link Streamer, Bear Hug, which I think they run one of in the Goki deck. Mandrake, and a Pixiel again. We're here getting pretty lucky on these Ultra Rares. Still no secrets, though, which, uh, I don't know, doesn't bode well. Space Insulator, Three Trolling Trolls, Defrag, Grave, which we're going to put this on the site because that's one of the better Commons in the set, and we got World Legacy Soro, which, uh, which one is this? Could you call anyone to get the activation? Oh, this isn't the one that summons. There's one that summons to, uh, summons to a link zone. Uh, World Lance. I actually won. I went to the sneak peek for Flood. This is when we just started playing, and I was pretty much learning that my first experience playing against another player was a uh, flood sneak peek and i won because of this card just tributing to and there's nothing over 3k that they could beat uh crystal master protron i hate this card why is it a 100 100 trans familiar
Propthorn, Three Tilentials, Octa Stretch, Lapulia, uh, Sanctified Dark Lord, Hana, Invader, Transfamiliar, Protron, Protron. It's like a protractor from math class. Gurgon's End, another grave. Oh my. Vendred, Kugolga, Link Bound. I've been testing this out in a few decks, especially a Link uh, Cyber Stack, and I, I don't know. It's a good recycle, but I don't know if it's actually worth running. It's not a plus. Waking the Dragon, another short printed common. Pretty, pretty worth it. Um, I know some people are teching it in as more of a troll um, because. Getting off a random extra link, or sorry, an extra zone monster for free is pretty pretty crazy. Space, Medulce, Nitsa Start, Degrade Buster, I very underrated, super rare for uh, uh, Cybers in my opinion. Then we have the uh, Revenge Reds, Hana, Insector, Conclave, Background. How many packs have we got left? We have, what, five packs, six packs? Still no secret, we got three ultra rares right now. So not, not doing too great, but we'll see. Nightshade, Reborn, Reborn, Defrag, Lapulia Mana again. And we have the Bouquet. I don't know if they run this. They might run it at one, if anything. Invader, Evolution, Bear Hug, Staring Contest. I think this is the set I've opened the most of. This would be about almost four cases worth. Sorry, four cases. Four uh, uh, booster, uh, booster boxes worth. Uh, Defrag, Grave. Um, okay, Malo, Nalu, the worst element saber. Uh, struggle. Actually, is that... The Y looks weird, but that might just be... Huh. Uh, Transfamiliar, Protron, and Ana. Three packs left. I really would like a super in one, a secret in one of these. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe Jade's going to have better luck than me. Monarchs, Octostretch, Gyrgon Zen, Space Insulator, Zen Maintenance again. And we got the Heartless drop-off. This is on 12 minutes already. I'm trying to speed up. Sorry, guys. Uh, Watch Cat, Corruption, Malo, Link Bound again. And that. And okay. Okay, last pack. Um, can we get a secret rare? I hope so. I uh, So far, not looking too great, but we'll see. Shadal, Monarchs, Malo, Gurgons, Goki, Master Ogre. So, no, no secrets on this half. That's not... Uh, that's not great, but we'll see. We got some pretty decent cards in our ultra rares. Um, ultra guys sitting about ten bucks. Training I need, uh, and then we haven't gotten our Iron Dragon yet, so it's nice to see. Um, we also got three Glacias and two Grand Souls. So I paid a hundred hundred bucks for the uh, the whole special edition. Um, when Jade's done, we're actually going to both come on and uh, talk about how much. Our box was worth and if it's worth buying but yep so uh appreciate you guys watching tomorrow will be jade opening hers hopefully pull a little hopefully her side pulls a little better but anyways guys thanks again have a great day